For me, freedom in terms of my own practice and thinking about the mechanics of how I can express that visually, I think it's really complicated for every African-American artist and one that identifies as an identity artist. And I think in terms of like that, that freedom, I don't let others or other influences dictate what I make and how I'm making it. I'm ma mainly making work that excites me and that uh, like I'm excited about, I feel like is pushing the lens of painting. There's always this certain level of like non-acceptance and to being a black artist, I feel like in my studio space, that's the space where I feel safe and I can do whatever I want. So things that people don't notice in my artwork, little gems, secrets that I put into my artwork, I feel like, you know, they're very obvious. Uh, most people won't get. And when I try to explain, you know, an aspect of a painting like, oh, this is the silhouette of Lady Gaga, or this is like, Jason Lee jumping over a fence on a skateboard, but it's like a silhouette that's really abstract. So it's like, you can't see those, those steps. It's like, it's close to me. And, you know, I, I think it's interesting what people do pick up on and things that I don't notice. And so that gap between, you know, what I'm putting in there and kind of like messing with and what people see and what like they give back to me. It's like this kind of conversation. It's really fun. Um, and it's like makes it into like this new kind of context each time, whoever you're talking to. Artistic goals, I think I would like to be able to speak um, and write about my work in a way that's more accessible in the way I speak. I think from undergrad and grad school, there's this pressure to use all this like academic jargon to sound smart and intellectual. And I think I really want the work to be about the work and kind of what I'm thinking about on like a personal and accessible level because why I'm making this is to like hopefully, you know, inspire, you know, people that may not see themselves as understanding art or being able to make art. And if they can't read my artist statement or the didactics, that I failed. I feel like I started my art making in undergrad as a formal abstractionist, and that meaning would hope that it would cue people in to realize that there is um, a strong history of black abstraction, and there's also contemporary African Americans that are interested in abstraction, and I think abstraction has this connection with like improvisation and being intuitive and I think that connection is important and just doesn't it's not given enough attention after grad school it ends you kind of this angst and I feel like the fact that I'm continuing to be a part of shows is an amazing opportunity and I'm grateful for but this idea of being able to expand my network after grad school and meet people that might share more of a common experience with me that I didn't get in grad school is really exciting to me. Learning about other artists in different states that are dealing with similar or different things um, through through the black lens and you know seeing differences or similarities I think is really exciting and interesting.